what's up guys so i know it's been like five years since i last recorded a video and uploaded here but if like for that i'm really sorry anyway if you've been following me on twitter then you will know that i am working on my final year project and like that has been giving me a lot of problems but uh, today i've basically decided to put out my problems so like <laughs> make videos about my problems and how i'm building the final year project and <clears throat> yeah i know it's going to be difficult but i'm going to try and keep up with the videos any case, I'm sorry for not uploading videos. Uh, I'm going to try and do better this time around. Yes. So, welcome to Final Year Project Diaries, or however I want out out call it. I've actually not decided the name yet, but I guess so. I'll basically be like recording stuff about my Final Year Project and how it's going. Like, I'll try and do a live building session so that you'll actually see what I'm doing. Anyway, my project is about um, development of a circuit simulator application based on NG Spice. Now. My supervisor and I, like I said, my supervisor and my group, not just me alone, came up with this project, right? And our goal is basically to develop a circuit simulation software. NG Spice is already a simulation engine that's out there. And this video, I'm basically just going to like walk you through what the project is about. And in the next couple of videos, I in, in the next video, I'll um, you know, share with you the <laughs> the architecture or like the I the plan that we have about the whole project and what I built already. Then from there I'll continue to like actually build in front of you guys. Like I record myself building so that you guys will see exactly what I'm doing. So yes. In any case, this is my <coughs> sorry about that. In any case, this is my final year report, like the project report anyway. But I'm just going to like look at specific parts of the the report like just to let you guys know what the project is about right so the problem is that or the problem that we are trying to solve is the fact that most of these circuit simulation software available over there are not free they are commercially available i mean you have to like pay for them and use them and the ones that are free are mostly for um linux based systems like per research <laughs> research so what we want to do is to like make a circuit simulation software that would be freely available for every person right so like that's our goal right so for this final year project um, we have like certain objectives to um, achieve by the end of the project so like I don't need to like have a circuit simulation software like more to seem ready I just need to make sure that I like make sure I just need to make sure that I achieve these objectives by the end of the year right like, I mean, the end of the academic year, not December. <laughs> In any case, yeah. So, the overall objective of this project is to provide a user-friendly way for electronic engineers and people interested in electronic circuit design to analyze and simulate circuits through NG Spice Engine without having to use, like, the internal scripting language that it comes with. Now, the thing is that NG Spice is already a simulation engine that's there. But then, in order to use it, you'd have to, like, write uh, some sort of script for the circuits that you want to simulate it's called a net list you basically have to like describe the circuits for a true text and this could be like intimidating to a lot of people and the learning curve is a bit uh, steep so we are basically going to like interface a gui a graphical user interface to ng spice simulation engine so we would allow you we would enable you to draw the circuits that you want to simulate and we would rather like sort of like gather data from the circuits and um you know put this data together and use the ng spice engine to simulate the circuits that you have drawn on the gui like that's basically our objective like the general objective but to be specific we want um the users of the application to be able to draw schematics of the circuits that they want to um simulate so the application would make available basic circuits components resistors, current and voltage sources that can be put together with connectors like wires. And then with these components, the application will allow users to draw and build schematic of electronic circuits using a drag and drop functionality. Like you basically like be dragging and the components around and connecting wires and arranging the wall, that kind of idea, right? So for the project itself, we are going to like be focusing on just two, no, should I say three components, a voltage source, resistors and the wires would be there of course but the third component would be the ground so something like a very basic circuit to get everything started and make sure everything works and from there if you have more time we'll build on this like build more components and then like make the software big enough right and the second objective is the circuit analysis and simulation 
obviously, if you build a circuit simulation software that cannot simulate anything, like, what's the point, right? So, after the user has built the GUI, sorry, after the user has used the GUI to build the, the schematic of the circuit that he or she wants to simulate, he would, like, have a pattern available to him or her where you, like, click on it and then the, like, the parameters of the circuit will be taken. So, like, he would specify the voltage, the value of the voltage on the voltage source, the value of the resistance on the resistors, and then he would be like simulate, and then the circuit would be simulated, and the result would be given back to the user. And the result being given back to the user is actually a third specific objective. The fact that there's after the simulation, the user would be able to like analyze the voltages, the circuit parameters at different nodes of the circuit, right? So like. That's basically the objective of the project, right? Being able to draw a schematic, simulate the schematic, and being able to get a result of the schematic that you have simulated, right? Right, so that's what we've been trying to do, right? Um, the rest is actually literature review, which I'm not sure you want to, like, know about. But anyway, we can go a little bit into the methodology, right? So, <clears throat> I should actually tell you guys that for the GUI, we are deciding to use Python and PyQt. I know Python is not the best to use, like when it comes to like desktop applications and GUI and stuff like this. But please, permit me, Python is the easiest that I can think of right now. Like, considering the fact that it's for it's for schoolwork and I don't like have to spend time learning another framework. Like these things are there. Like all of these things considered, Python and PyQt is like the best combination I could find. And we also using Python because of PySpice. PySpice is sort of like a Python interface for the NGSpice engine. So it, it allows you to simulate circuits using NGSpice, but then you'd write the code in Python. And so that, that's like an advantage because if I'm able to get the data in Python, I can simulate it using PySpice, using Python through PySpice, right? So that's what we are using. I mean, there is a lot of stuff here about why we are using PyKit6 instead of PyKit5, you know, the literature stuff. I mean, you don't have to read all of this. <laughs> I'm not going to read it out loud anyway but um basically that's the idea right so i am going to like stop this video here that's this this video is basically just telling you about what the project is about but in the next video i'm going to look at the architecture and how the whole structure of the application is going to be like um this is an inter an, an overview anyway it has like three major parts right it has a component pin a canvas an attribute pin and sort of like a results pin at the bottom over here so the components will be selected through the components pin the components will show up on the canvas it's on the canvas that the user will be able to like draw the circuits and you know draw the circuits connect wires to components and all of those things and then using the control menu at the top here he would click on simulate or i don't know analyze circuits or whatever it is and the circuit will be simulated right and the results will be shown on the results pin over here now also on the canvas when like a component is selected on the canvas the attributes of that component should show up on the attributes pin where the attributes of that component can be like changed by the user so maybe um, the resistance of the resistor for instance the the user can change all of those things right so this is a wireframe of the the um gui that we're going to build but organization wise the gui is going to pass data to some sort of a uh, middleware which is like a circuit object a node object components object, like something to basically describe the circuit right and there would actually be a simulation backend which will take this object and actually generate the net list and simulate it using PySpice, and the results like sort of like pass through the in the opposite direction so the middleware is like um, connecting the GUI to the actual simulation backend, right? All of this gibberish about how we are going to implement all of this. Um, don't worry about this. I mean, it's just for schoolwork, right? <laughs> In any case, um, guys, that's it for this video, actually. This is a very short video just telling you about what my project is about. In this video, I'm going to be starting the architecture of the project i mean i've already developed some sort of architecture of the project but the problem is that during the time that i was developing it i didn't know much about pygt i mean i'd used pygt before but not this not on this like massive project right so i didn't know much about pygt and i ended up like the stuff i thought would work ended up not working i had to change things so i'm basically like tweaking the architecture and redoing the architecture of the whole system as i continue to work on the project 
Yeah, I know I'm not uh, someone who is like very good at developing architecture. So like when you see my next video and <laughs> you have a lot of problems with how I'm developing my architecture, please, I'm sorry. Um, I would actually appreciate it if you like comment on this video and tell me like stuff that I should add, stuff that you think I should do. Probably you won't be able to do any of those right now because you've not even looked at my code or what I have working. But um, in the next couple of videos, you would see that like maybe next two videos i guess like that's my plan but then let's see how it goes anyways thanks for watching this video cheers